Do you think it's Christmas when you open up your computer and realize oh, Premiere Pro has an update? I get so excited I put on Christmas pants. Christmas pants. That's right. Christmas pants. Adobe Premiere Pro. Effective video editing is just shortening the gap from the time it takes you to take an idea from your head and put it into Premiere Pro and then out into the world. Now, currently, I am stoked on the video that I'm making right now. Look at this. I'm creating a piece where I'm at Peter McKinnon, Cody Warner, Swoop, Sarah Dietschy, Dean Nimmin, and all of these other people. And boy, oh boy, is this edit going to be so amazing because I'm going to be able to take it from my head to the computer in Premiere Pro and out into the world because there is an update from Adobe. But wait, hold the phone. That isn't the case because once I got into the edit, I lost all of my keyboard shortcuts. This isn't going as fast as I want it to. In fact, this is taking forever. I have to move my hand all the way over to Command K to create a cut? What is this business? Homie, don't play that. If this is a similar situation to you, Christmas pants and all, and you need to get your old keyboard shortcuts into this new age of Premiere Pro updates, let's resolve this issue. By the way, if you're new here, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I'm passionate about video and talking to other inspiring individuals who are pursuing their passions as well. If you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and sub to the channel, click that bell, and give me a like, throw me a comment, do all those things. That's so many things to tell you to do. You're not gonna do any of those things. You better do one of those things. Reverse psychology might work. Maybe it won't. You know what? Let's get back on track. Update your keyboard shortcuts in Premiere. Let's, Let's go. go. In Premiere Pro, we're going to go down here to keyboard shortcuts. If you do this drop down menu, if you've ever created keyboard shortcuts, custom ones, they're not there anymore. What's up with that? Why is it doing this? Well, it hasn't moved it over from your previous versions of Adobe. How do we alleviate this issue? And I believe this will work on Windows as well. Let's do a save as and just call it, hey, this is where the shortcuts are and hit OK. Now I'm going to go to my finder and I'm going to type in those same words. Hey, this is where the shortcuts are. Oh, and look at that. I'm going to right click, reveal in finder. Boom. This now is the file path for where your new shortcuts are stored. Now what I'm going to do is from version 12.0 or the previous version of Premiere, whatever that be it for you, I'm going to right click, open a new tab, drag that out. Now I'm going to go and follow the same path. Mac. Now look at that. Here are all of my old school about to become new updated school keyboard shortcuts. Homie does play that. I'm going to take these ones that I know I use, hit copy, go to the updated version, paste them in. Now I'm going to go back to Premiere, bring back my keyboard shortcuts, do the drop down menu, and boom! What was that? What was that? Are those the keyboard shortcuts? Am I now going to have a more efficient way to get my ideas from my brain into Premiere Pro and out into the world faster now because I have my old shortcuts in the new version of Premiere? Yes. Did this provide value to you if you didn't know how to do it before? Probably yes. Could you give me a subscription for it? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Love you guys. Till next time.